Russ Letterman here, and I wanted to show you our new 3D eyepiece system. And this is the one with the optical array in it. Comes as a pair. Only one eyepiece has the optical array in it to create the 3D when used in combination with the other eyepiece and the Binotron 27. That's our Bino viewer. Um, the system will work in other Bino viewers, of course. Why not use it in the best? The Binotron has certain advantages that. Uh, make the 3D system just a bit better. Um, obviously, our Bina viewers are very well collimated. I collimate each and every one myself. So I'm the inventor of this. LOA stands for Letterman Optical Ray, and uh, a, an international patent has been filed, including the USA. And um, 21 is 21 millimeter focal length and 65 degree field of view, apparent field of view. Um, the weight on each eyepiece is just a little over 3.5 ounces, so the combined weight of the pair is only a little over 7 ounces. No groove on the barrel, so they work in our Binotron Binoviewer really well. Now, here's a little bubble that says N. N stands for near. When you have this in the right eyepiece holder and you have the N facing you as you're looking through it, and look at that coating beautiful, fully multi-coated. The, the N stands for near, and the object in the field of view is going to be in your face, closer than all of the background objects, which will also lie at different distances. So you get this intense 3D. Now, if you're looking at a galaxy, like the one in the picture, let's say, and uh, you want to move it further away than the stars, you just rotate 180 degrees, until you feel with your finger in the dark that the bubble is directly in back. And there you have an F, which stands for far. Now the object in the center of the field is furthest away than anything else in the field of view. So it takes seconds. Um, you want to move it closer again? Just rotate. Of course, with our power switch, the object will change characters uh, by being close and really large and or or um obviously when you have it further away again the the power switch is wonderful to use because you can look at one object in a lot of different ways you can also move the field of view by slewing the telescope so that the object moves to the edge and then its distance is going to change so as you move it around the field the whole perspective of the field changes just like you were in a spacecraft traveling around the object and you're seeing it from all different perspectives. Again, um, here's our coatings, fully multi-coated, and um, this eye cup will fold down for eyeglass wearers. The, um, the eye relief is right around 12.5 millimeters, close to 13 millimeters, and um, the optical array, which is located inside of the barrel, I'm not gonna really show it to you right now, but um, the optical array comprises of optics that are all lambda 10 flat or better, all fully multi-coated totally. So you're going to get amazing views. Now, what I would say to you all is think about saying goodbye to a flat universe.